Hello guys, we have reached day 11, that is September 12th. So 30 day quiz, I uh, hope all the serious aspirants are watching this and uh, this will surely uh, help you recall, if you are my student at least, you, it will help you recall the things which you studied and uh, we'll see whether your recalling power is good, whether you need to revise more, what you need to focus when you do a particular question, that kind of tips I'm giving. And general uh, October 4 tips, like two are what to do in the exam hall, what to attempt, what to skip and uh, how can you reach the cutoff easily, that kind of one series I'm planning. So two three videos will come uh, before September 20 and uh, starting from maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow okay so uh, wait for that series and uh, today's uh, questions will be based on April 2020 current affair because we have been doing an order from June 2019 and uh, this is all from pack 11 that is 12 test of current affair okay this one but uh, whichever you want you can come and get it okay because this last few days whichever you focus that will maybe uh, help you get uh, 5 to 10 extra marks okay and that is a big difference when it comes to UPSC in the recent times because the cutoff have been very low in the last two years and if it goes little high you have to be ready for that okay and 30 day start is already out and again more tips will come in the coming days and uh, answer your uh, answer key in the live chat which is going on and uh, if you get 8, 9, 10 in total okay you keep a count of it and if it's that it's excellent 6, 7 is good 3, 4, 5 is revise more that is your recalling power is very poor so you have to uh, maybe study more okay and one two means uh, either your source is completely wrong or you have a very poor uh, memory power okay so work on that first question action for peacekeeping a for p is being considered to be implemented in 2020 it was launched in 2018 by okay the rats head sco okay rats you should know it's something which is under sco uh, chief of army staff india director of fbi usa uh, the Secretary General of the UN. So, it's Secretary General of the UN. Uh, he launched uh, Action for Peacekeeping Initiative uh, on 28 March 2018 to renew the individual and collective commitments of member states to strengthen peacekeeping operations on the ground and resolve these conflicting issues. New Delhi has a huge uh, role to play when it comes to introducing reforms to peacekeeping. The Declaration of Shared Commitment on UN Peacekeeping Operations part of the AFRP uh, initiative. So this kind of things UPS will ask this much only like what is it related to or who launched it. They will not ask anything very detailed. Okay. Then this resolution. Last year they asked a resolution. Uh, I think yeah, some uh, convention number of some 182 and 312 or something and they asked what is it related to. So it was related to child labor and child reforms and all because India had ratified it. So same like that if something like that is important you have to buy heart okay and every year maybe 5 to 10 numbers like this will be there and that will be covered in every good test series. So UNSC adopted resolution 2518 to ensure uh, safety and security of peacekeepers. This is the first time a resolution is being passed for safety of peacekeeper okay. So this kind of first time and all becomes important. The resolution was initiated and sponsored by China. Okay, this also they will put like it was by India. Then it was co-sponsored by 43 countries. Okay. Now, Indian Telegraph Act 1885 authorizes central governments to gain information about the phone users, but not the state governments. Then geofencing technology is alternate to Wi-Fi and GPS and can be used only in areas devoid of Wi-Fi and internet. So both are wrong, Bo both has been purposely tweaked, so hope you have already got it. Serious aspirants will know that even if you have no idea about these topics, these two statements are purposely tweaked and that is clear from the way it has been phrased, okay. One is this uh, not state government having the authority of doing this, then one is like only in uh, areas, okay. So these two were uh, technically wrong as per UPSC format. So both the center and state are authorized, Sm statement 2 is just made up. Department of Telecommunications has issued a standard operating procedure for the use of this uh, alert system. Okay, C quest. That is why this question is made. The this thing uh, uh, is an application used to track COVID uh, patients who have violated quarantine. The application was developed by DOT and uh, C dot. So about this also, you can Google and just read one line about it. Okay. Then the app collects uh, phone data of the quarantine violator and alerts a local agency. And it uses geofencing technology and that is something which uses all these things okay gps wi-fi because only then you can track someone okay so this uh, only in area where it is not available and all is just made up to make it look weird okay 
the technology allows to set up a virtual boundary called geofence when a mobile enters ex uh, enters or exist uh, or okay exit the geofence the pre-programmed um, module start uh, running the program then sends alert to authorized agency the center uses this act to gain powers to fetch information about the quarantine person from telecom companies the information is obtained every 15 minutes section 5 of that authorizes both state and central government okay so it's a hindu article so from there only we have picked up all these lines operation decisive storm often seen in news is closely related to caribbean islands south china sea middle east asia or pacific island nations So it's Middle East Asia, Saudi Arabia led this uh, coalition, declares ceasefire in Yemen. You should know now the location of Yemen and Saudi Arabia correctly. Okay, uh, Yemen from 2015, conflict is there. Houthi rebels, you can see they will put match the following, like Houthis on left side and Yemen on right side, that you should know. And they are backed by Iran. Military took much of the control of the west of the country. The coup uh, led by Houthis forced the president to flee abroad. The rise of the group alarmed Saudi Arabia and uh, eight other Arab states to lead a military campaign, restoring the government. Okay, Around 80% of the population in the country are in need of humanitarian assistance and 10 million are one step away from famine. This was also a question UPC asked like which countries are facing famine, hunger and all. So the 2018 question I think. Okay, And they gave options like Yemen, Sudan, Nigeria something. So that was the answer. The intervention of the coalition in Yemen is said to be in compliance with Article 2 of the United Nations Charter. Okay. The coalition intervened uh, Yemen in the code name Operation Decisive Storm. The coalition includes these countries. So, this also because it's very limited countries, you can by heart it okay if you want. So, Saudi, Sudan, UAE, Bahrain, Kuta, uh, sorry, Qatar, Kuwait, uh, Egypt, Jordan, Morocco and Senegal. Okay. So, you should know some are in Africa and some are in Asia. Okay. In the Middle East. It was supported by US also. So this is a thing called Operation Decisive Storm, which uh, entered Yemen to restore peace there because how, how the rebels had uh, taken control. Okay. Map is important. So please see to it you study. Which of the following are true about Indo-US Science and Technology Forum? It was established recently when Indian PM visited the US. It is an autonomous organization that is jointly funded by both the governments, that is India and USA. The Department of Science and Technology is the nodal agency representing India at the IUSSTF. So it is 2 and 3 only. Uh, the establishment is wrong. Uh, news is because it has invited proposals from scientists. Then uh, it was established long back, March 2000, under an agreement between India and USA. It is an autonomous organization that is jointly funded by both the governments. So, statement 2 is right. It promotes interaction between the government in field of science, engineering, information, innovation and technology. It aims to create awareness through exchange programs. It also encourages public-private partnership to foster innovation. Then Department of Science, of Technology, science and Technology is the nodal agency. So, third statement is also correct. Okay, from the US, the US Department of State is the uh, is to represent uh, the country. So this is a very basic thing about that body because it was in news. Okay. Now OBICUS survey seen in news is released by RBI, SEBI, WWF or Survey of India. So it is RBI, this uh, full form is Order Books, Inventories and Capacity Utilization Survey. It provides an insight into demands of the Indian manufacturing sector. It is conducted quarterly, four times a year. It is conducted since 2008. So it's an old one also. It is happening four times a year. So many, many editions would have already been out. Then the survey come, uh, covers 2,500 companies in both public and private sector. It also provides the issue of total inventories to sales. Also, the survey provides the issue of raw materials to finished goods. It helps to measure economic activity in the country. The data collected item-wise in the survey includes quantitative data, pending orders, work in progress, backlogs of orders, finished goods. Okay, so past, future, everything is there. Then April 16, 2020, uh, the Reserve Bank of India launched it. This is the 49th round of survey by the Apex uh, Bank for uh, period January to March. Okay, so quarterly, quarterly it will come. 
which are the following are true about Anganwadis. It was started by Maulana Abul Kalam as part of first five-year plan. The responsibilities of Anganwadi workers have been listed by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. So both are wrong. It was begun by Indian government in 1975 when uh, Indira Gandhi time that uh, the Ribi Hatao and all those uh, that is the things which should whenever 1975 comes there are fight and things which happened in India okay uh, because uh, coming that emergency phase and all those things so you have to know things the uh, these centers uh, provide preschool education health education immunization immunization and health checkup responsibilities of Anganwadi have been listed by Ministry of Women and Child Development. Today they are receiving this much salary, so that will keep updating every time, but still uh, as per April. Then Mara, Madhya Pradesh recently launched the Chief Minister COVID-19 uh, Yodha Kalyan Yojana under the scheme. The Anganwadi workers are to get special health insurance of rupees 50 lakh. The collectors of the districts in the state are to list the names of the Anganwadi workers that are eligible to benefit from the scheme. Anganwadi workers are taking risk conducting door-to-door -door survey. Apart from taking survey, they are also visiting every house to provide nutritional food. Thus, they pose a great risk. Okay, so this is the news. They were in news, uh, so that's the reason this question is framed. Now, Creative Economy Report, sometimes seen in news, is published by United Nations Financial Action Task Force, World Bank, or OECD. Okay, all are very popular bodies. So, Creative Economy Report. So, it's United Nations, uh, if you see here, the World Creativity and Inno Innovation Day on April 21 was celebrated by United Nations. The day creates awareness about the importance of innovation. Then, uh, to achieve all these things, UN Sustainable Development Goals, they are also called the Global Goals. Okay, Global Goal means the same. Creativity and innovation are the two main wealth of a country in the 21st century, according to the Creative Economy Report published by the UNDP, okay, United Nations Development Program, UNESCO and UNOSSC okay and you should know detail about what is this also United Nations Office for South South Cooperation because last year UPSC asked a body called UNCAC and UNTOC I think TOC or TAC okay both were uh, usually not prepared by students but uh, because uh, something was signed and then UPSC decided to ask detailed questions about that okay four statement question came so you should know every UN body now which comes in news the report says that uh, creative industries and culture should be the major economic strategies of a country. The industries have a potential of generating this much revenue, capable of producing this much job. So it's very basic only remaining things. Just know that uh, this report is by UN, many bodies, UNDP, UNESCO and UNOSSC. They can ask a combination also. So three bodies and also know something about uh, UNOSSC. OSSC, okay. Now which of the following are true? Animals cannot be infected with coronavirus. There are no known cases of corona infected animals in 2020. Serious aspirants would have already guessed the answer. Both are wrong. First thing, a news item was there. A four-year-old uh, uh, Malayan tiger in the zoo of New York has tested positive. This is the first time COVID-19 infections are reported on an animal. It is still not known how the disease will develop in cat. Also, there is no evidence that a human can be infected by the virus from animals. There are evidences that it spreads only through droplets. The virus spreads through two different types of droplets, namely respiratory droplets and uh, droplet nuclei. Okay, they are differentiated between the size. Okay, this is smaller. And uh, Malayan tigers or the southern Indo-Chinese tiger is a type of tiger subspecies native to peninsular uh, Malaysia. That's also critically endangered. Most of them will be critically endangered only because these people don't have too much protection measures and all like India does. So they are threatened by uh, habitat loss, fragmentation, poaching, illegal trade, etc. Cats are affected by a specific class of corona called the feline coronavirus. And unlike uh, SARS-CoV-2, the feline coronavirus are transmitted through fecal or oral route. This virus infects the intestine or a peritoneum of cat. So it can affect animals. It, there is an example of thing affected in 2020. And uh, this is one of the tiger which got infected and it is in Malaysia. It is critically endangered. And uh, this kind of basics, okay, and this uh, feline. So these kind of words when you see. Uh, just you should know that you have already studied this education for justice initiative 
seen in news was launched by UNESCO, UNODC, World Bank and uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So it is UNODC, again about uh, that body also you should study, UPS have already asked once and uh, it launched online dialogues with students and educators, it launched this uh, lockdown learner series under education for justice initiative, okay. So this lockdown learner series is also by uh, this body only, it aims to sensitize uh, students on the issues such as misinformation, cyber crime, gender based violence, corruption. So this was launched by this UNODC to teach next generation about crime prevention and address problems under law. So it's a very uh, important like these kind of words comes okay like uh, two years back they asked uh, rule of law index okay and rule of law index nobody prepared it was just one time there in Hindu news and they picked it up and that was very recent or very near to the prelims date also when that came in news. So that time and the bodies were also very weird and the uh, answer was something I can't recollect now some world justice report or something was the answer. So you basically can pick any report so please see to it that you prepare for a good test series. Now this uh, Swamitwa scheme seen in news is related to the ministry of which one? Women and Child, Electronics and IT, Panchayati Raj, Skill Development. So it's Panchayati Raj, it aims to integrate an inter, uh, integrated Aim to provide an integrated property validation solution to rural India in order to demarcate the lands Ministry of Panjati Raj to use drone technology. This will help to reduce disputes over property. A property card for every property in the village will be prepared by the states, okay, by the states using accurate measurement delivered by drone mapping. These cards will be given to property owners and will be recognized by the Land Revenue Records Department. The deliverance of property rights through an official document will enable villagers to access bank finance using their property as collateral. The ministry is to be joined by State Revenue Department, Panchayati Raj Department and Survey of India. About Survey of India also just Google because it's a very old body. Then scheme is to be initially launched in six states. So it's not all over India. Then the initiative have been launched by Prime Minister to celebrate the Panchayati Raj Day. Um, PM launched e-gram Swaraj application and two portals to accelerate the pace of development in villages. The application will help panchayats to complete development projects in villages it will accelerate project in uh, village starting from planning to completion the portals will help the villagers to obtain their loans easily from banks the portal will act as a single platform to implement gram panchayat development plan every information related to the rural area will be found in e swaraj website and also on mobile application okay so that was the 10 questions for today hope your preparation is going very uh, smoothly because people are anyway inside house and if they are a serious aspirant, obviously they will be taken off from work and all those things and you are focusing on this. See to it that the next 20 days brings in some changes and it's not like you simply go with the available knowledge which you have and if you simply take it casually, you will suffer that in the exam hall, okay. It's only 20 matter of 20 days. After that, maybe you can then take a one week gap and then think of 2021 preparation or 2020 mains. But uh, the more serious you are, the more you will have a chance to write the 2020 mains instead of 2021 prelims and means okay so you can uh, contact me in whatsapp if you are a beginner or if you have any doubt about any test series plan and uh, if you want three free tests to begin with we will give you and that is also current affair test so you can get it and see like how much time you are taking to read my magazine and all because it's a little lengthy because we cover a lot of details and after that you can decide whether you want the full test series or not so email me the code three free and i'll come with the next uh, video tomorrow 9 pm so enjoy learning thank you and have a nice day